Go. Two additional factors came into play during the restoration of the mattress. One is the level surface of the mattress. As you can see, we achieved a level running from the foot through the lumbar and dorsal to the hinge point on, on the neck. And I uh, will show you a cross piece to give you a sense of what happened across. It says just proud of the frame. And once the stuffing, the additional stuffing is placed in and the ticking is pulled down, it should come fairly close to the surface without a great deal of crown. Which leads me to the second part of the equation, and that is the structural integrity of the edges, where typically a person will sit prior to getting onto the, um, onto the bed, and this was something that was not factored in during the original uh, design. There was a deep gully, a trough that was empty running along this edge, and the fabric was simply pulled over the top and tacked to the side rail, which was really non-existent. So it was an empty cavity. And so it was an empty cavity. Oh, I get it. Therefore, every time that a person sat down on the edge, it pulled the cloth until it just simply ripped it away from the wall. Now, setting in the additional tacking strips will help because the, the uh, ticking and the show cover will pull over the top and tack to the upper surface. But the addition of these blind stitch edge rolls has really saved a great deal of stress on the ticking and the upholstery fabric. It's filled with Algerian. The, um, uh, the blind stitching comes underneath the Algerian and, and um, uh, locks off along the edge of the troughs. So we end up with a very sturdy, supportive area where there are no springs. The springs begin back here. So it allows for springiness for the hips, but a nice firm edge that a person can sit on without the worry of the piece just imploding or falling in.